to our chief meteorologist, Matt Noyce, you did say there was a shift. Why, oh, why, yeah. why the shift, Matt? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, there was a piece of energy that got missed. And so with the, without the two pieces linking up, and this became clear yesterday afternoon, it is a dramatic southward shift. And I never dance or I never back away from just being honest about what's going on, and especially with the memo, just kind of lay it out there. It's unusual to see this kind of a dramatic shift so close in time. Outside of 24 hours, I almost go into every event saying, oh, we could be wrong on this. Inside of 24, it's somewhat rare. Uh, but the change lessens the impact for many. There's still going to be snow for most of us, and it's still an impressive snowstorm by Cape Cod standards with near blizzard conditions for a time this afternoon. Kind of driving that point home, here's the chance of snow today across the area. I mean, you're 90% or greater, basically, from the Mass New Hampshire border south. So you still get into some amount of snow. When you look at the radar, the bark is worse than the bite so far. A lot of this stuff still struggling to make it down to the ground. It's fighting against dry air. The temperature is running above freezing. That's great news because it kept the road temperatures up during the course of the overnight. So when you look at the road conditions through 9 a.m., I can see us developing some slick spots as the snow fills in in southeastern Massachusetts. And then it's going to be more challenging when you start to get in toward Buzzards Bay. Now that expands east after 9 a.m. and the roads go downhill. It also will expand north as we get into the later morning and midday as well. So let's dive into it here. Here is one piece of energy that again is riding out ahead of the main storm center. And that really was the key in terms of the changes to the forecast that happened with yesterday. This is the storm center itself just coming across the mid-Atlantic. Heavy snow falling now in Pennsylvania. It's expanding through New York City and it's set to start falling to the ground when you get into Connecticut as well. So the forecast, if we go through the next few hours, by 615, light rain has spread into uh, around areas around uh, Buzzards Bay. Notice that that is snow in Rhode Island, and it is not into Boston or the Mass Turnpike at 615. Even at 830, you do not have it into the pike. So the, slow, the uh, farther south track has slowed the northward progression and almost eliminated it entirely when you get north of the Mass New Hampshire border. By 1030 this morning, it should be snowing steadily, lightly for the most part, around the Boston metro. Notice the temperature is still near or above freezing, so treated roads would hold up a little bit better near north of the Mass Pike, where the snow is lighter. But the farther south and east that you go, the heavier that snow will be. Near and south of the Pike, that snow fills in at a pretty good clip. This is at noontime or at lunchtime today. You can see it's snowing heavily for southeastern Mass to the Cape. Again, light stuff in the Merrimack Valley, light stuff at the Route 2 corridor, moderate snow for a time midday to early afternoon in Boston. The roads that aren't treated will certainly go downhill to some extent. And the back edge is all the way down by Plymouth at 430 and clearing the Cape as we head into the early evening hours. So in terms in terms of the amounts, if you missed it at the top of the half hour, what we're thinking right now is still a six to eight inch swath that runs across the Cape, runs across now both of the islands. So Nantucket has gone up from five to a six to eight inch uh, plus snowfall total. Buzzards Bay up to about Plymouth and Lakeville up to about 44. Then you start dropping to around four inches at Brockton and Bridgewater as you make your way farther to the north, Weymouth to Boston about three, Boston to Danvers probably around two out through Maynard, Worcester probably about two or three. And then the amounts have really been slashed at the Mass New Hampshire. Hampshire border just by product of the fact that that southern track keeps the moisture from spreading farther up to the north. In terms of the wind, I can tell you that this morning really isn't bad. Once we get out to, let's say, midday and afternoon, that's when your gusts start to go over 30 miles per hour at the coast. On Cape, the reason I say near blizzard conditions are still possible this afternoon, you're going to get some frequent gusts that go up even over 40 miles per hour an hour. If you can go over 35 frequently uh, with near zero visibility and snow and blowing snow for three hours straight, that's a blizzard. So you got to come close to that actually at the mid cape and outer cape during the afternoon coastal flooding is still an issue i mentioned earlier minor to perhaps some pockets of moderate coastal flooding but i'll talk more about that coming up and as we get to the end of the week perhaps some snow showers thursday night again on saturday and the temperature is kind of staying seasonable for this time of the year